9 day diagnostics. Um, I'm just going to show you, we have a Kia Sorento in the workshop at 2015, and I'm just going to show you the, uh, the best way to replace your fuel filter on this car. It's a little bit hidden, buried down the back of the engine, quite awkward to get at. You can get at it without removing anything, but to make life easier and stop spilling diesel all over yourself and everything else, um, we're going to remove the air filter housing. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Quite as simple to do, but uh, I'm going to show you so it saves a lot of messing around. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so well, here it is, the fuel filter on this car. It's actually over right behind your air filter housing here, and it's buried just down there. Quite awkward to get at. Um, you can get in around it and, and remove it, but um, it, 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 it's, it's awkward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the whole air filter housing. Um, so how we do that is, um, there is one bolt there, there is another bolt uh, just down there that we've removed, and then there's uh, three bolts, one, two, three, and remove this all out of the way, and then obviously your clip just here for the, the intake for the air, and then your air filter, um, your sensor here for your airflow meter. Um, and that's it, we remove all that out, and that'll give us a better access to the fuel filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it now, and uh, can have a look. Okay, so there you go, there's the air filter housing removed. It's quite easy to get out, and that gives us a nice bit of access to our fuel filter. You've got two bolts here, you have a connection up here, you have a connection up here, which will, will, which will bring this out so you can get the actual uh, intake and the outlet pipes for the, for the diesel, and then you can get the whole fuel filter housing out, and then replace your fuel filter. Makes it a lot more simpler, um, and cuts down on a lot of messing around, and diesel going everywhere, because look, you don't really want to be getting diesel down on, on this unit here. Even though it's a sealed unit, you still don't want it to be soaking on top of it, so I like to keep things a little bit um, from getting messy. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this fuel filter. So we'll put it on a time lapse, and you can have a look. Okay, so one thing I forgot to show you was that there's a bolt that is just here, a 10 mil bolt that goes into the um, fuel filter housing, which you ha obviously have to remove, and the two bolts that go in here that hold the, the metal plate uh, and holds the fuel filter housing in. And then there's the two clips on the back. A little bit awkward to get out, getting them clips, uh, just maneuvering it around, but um, it's a lot easier with that um, air filter housing uh, removed. So we've got the new fuel filter out, we're going to put in, uh, the new one in and put it all back together. So, yeah, sometimes... What looks to be the hardest way is actually the easiest way. Okay, take it easy. Okay, so if your if your car that you're working on your van doesn't have a high uh, a low pressure pump in the tank, um, it's not going to be able to bleed the system out. So if you are not able to fill the fuel filter with diesel, um, and you put the fuel filter back in, when you start the engine, it will probably run for a couple of seconds, and then it's going to cut out and it won't start again because the system is air locked. There's air in the in the fuel system. And you have to bleed that out, which can be quite awkward. If you keep turning the engine over, you're going to damage the fuel pump because diesel is a lubricant and the tolerance inside the fuel pump are so small, you can damage it fairly quickly. So you need to make sure that there's diesel in there. So a lot of cars will have a pump that's in the tank. When you turn the ignition on, you'll hear the pump kicking in and it'll prime the system for you. It'll fill up that, um, that um, fuel filter and save you the hassle. But if you don't have that, the best way to do it is to suck the diesel up from the tank into the fuel filter. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, but most cars will have a, a pump in the tank. 
um, which will come on or you can do it through your diagnostics. But if you don't have that, this is the way to do it, okay? Okay, so you want to find the outlet pipe from the fuel filter, the one that goes from the fuel filter up to the fuel pump. You're going to disconnect it and connect in your connector just in here into the, um, the fuel filter side. And then this is going to run all the way down to uh, what we use sometimes for draining oil out. And it's just going to suck vacuum through. So I'm going to do this a bit awkward with, with trying to hold the phone in the hand, but I'm going to give it a go. And as you can see there, it's pulling fuel up from the system. So what it does is it pulls it up from the tank into the fuel filter and then out of here. And then once you don't have any bubbles coming out, which takes a couple of, it can take a couple of seconds depending on how empty it is. Once that's done, you disconnect it, connect it back up and your engine should start straight away. Okay, simple enough. Okay, so now that we have the system uh, bled out from the fuel filter as you've seen there, we're gonna start the engine. And this should start roughly straight away. It might turn over for a little bit, but it should start within a couple of, of turns. So let's give it a go. There you go. Now sometimes there still might be a little air in the system and the, the idle might fluctuate a small bit. Um, but this is actually grand, no issues there. Um, and it saves any lights coming on because if it sees low pressure on the, on the, um, on the high pressure side pump, um, it's going to log a full code and put a light on the dash. So um, it kind of saves all that hassle. So I hope this video helps you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Really help us out. And uh, we'll see you again on the next video. Okay, take it easy.